Hey everybody, um, so what we got here is a uh, system characterized by uh, the differential equation that you see up here. Um, and so what we want to do is find the transfer function, the poles and zeros, the impulse response, and the step response. Um, so first we'll find the transfer function, uh, part A. Um, so in order to do that, um, we can take our differential equation and uh, rewrite it as... Um, so that y double prime becomes an s squared um, y of s um, plus 3 y of s, 3s y of s, um, and then plus 2 y of s equals um, x, um, s x of s uh, minus x of s. Um, and so there's our um, uh, um, H of S that, uh, for example, we could obtain. Uh, hey everybody, um, so what we got here is a uh, differential equation. Um, and basically we have a system that's characterized by that differential equation. Um, so what we want to do is to find the transfer function, the poles and zeros, the impulse response, and the uh, step response. So uh, first we'll go ahead and find the uh, transfer function. Um, and so in order to do that, um, we'll uh, transform that um, ordinary differential equation. Um, and so what we'll get, we'll get s squared y of s um, plus 3s y of s um, plus 2y of s equals um, s x of s minus x of s um, and so we know that uh, for the uh, transfer function h of s uh, that's equal to y of s over x of s so what we'll do is we'll end up solving for that um, so we end up with an uh, s minus 1 over s squared plus 3s plus 2 because all we're doing is just literally solving for x of s and y of s in this equation or I'm sorry, y of s over x of s in this equation. And so that actually is going to simplify down to s minus 1 over s plus 1 times s plus 2. Um, and so there's our uh, transfer function. It's so now what we want to find. Um, we'll uh, find our uh, poles and zeros. So uh, part b up here, uh, poles and zeros. So we know from uh, this equation here, our uh, our poles are going to be um, minus one and minus two, um, so and our zeros um, are actually going to be uh, one. Um, so there's our poles and our zeros. Um, C we want to find uh, the impulse response, um, and so what we're going to do uh, in order to to find that. Um, we'll take our transfer equation, and um, we're going to do a partial fraction decomposition. So we'll have s minus 1 uh, over s plus 1 times s plus 2, and that's going to be equal to a over s plus 1 um, plus b over s plus 2. Um, and so we can actually uh, go ahead and solve for this. So we got s minus 1. Uh, is equal to a s plus 2 plus b times s plus 1 um, and so uh, when we uh, basically zero it out um, we can solve for a um, a is going to equal minus 2 and uh, b is going to equal um, um, 3 sorry about that um, and so what we'll do then, um, h of s is equal to minus 2 over s plus 1 plus 3 over s plus 2. So now that we have that, we can uh, get the uh, inverse Laplace of this. So um, h of t, uh, again we're finding the impulse response, which is h of t. Um, so that's going to actually be minus 2 e to the minus t um, plus 3 e to the minus 2 of t to the minus 2 t. And then uh, that's u of t. 
Um, and so now that we know that, um, we the last thing we want to find is the um, step response. Um, so to find that, what we'll do is we'll um, take our h of s, um, which is our transfer function, and we're going to multiply that um, by 1 over s, or uh, divide by s. Um, and so what we can do, um, we'll have to do partial fraction decomposition again. Um, so we end up with uh, s minus 1 over s times s plus 1 times s plus 2. Um, and so partial fraction decomp yields minus 1 half over s plus 2 over s plus 1 plus minus 3 over 2 um, minus 3 over 2 divided by uh, s plus 2 um, and so we'll end up with our uh, step response again we need uh, h of t um, we need it in the time domain there um, and so what we'll actually end up getting is um, minus one half uh, plus 2e to the minus t um, minus 3 over 2e to the minus 2t u of t and so that's actually going to be our uh, step response right there so thank you